can a priest take a Nazarite vow? And I can get very quickly to the answer, and that is no. But let's explain why. One, under a Nazarite vow, you're to let your hair grow, and at the end, you basically shave everything. Um, and we have the Nazarite vow in number six as it goes through the requirements. But in addition to that, we have Leviticus 21, which are rules for priests. Priests have to keep their hair kept up, basically what I'd call short hair. Um, and they cannot shave their heads. Well, at the end of the Nazarite vow, you have to shave your hair, all of your hair off. So, for two specific reasons, a priest cannot take a Nazarite vow. Now, all the pictures we have of the Messiah since we've grown up has him with long hair. Let's get to the base of why they would put him with long hair because that invalidates him to be a high priest. And they would have known that drawing these things back in the day. So the one thing we can say with certainty, because we know that the Messiah is going to be our high priest, is that he does not have long hair. Okay, we can put that with an absolute certainty. We can also say he can't take a Nazarite vow. Now again, he, did he drink wine? Of course he drank wine uh, repeatedly. I'm not saying he was a drunkard. They said that about him, but he says otherwise. Uh, but he would drink wine. You can't do that under a Nazarite vow. So we have the high priest who cannot take a Nazarite vow. So again, gives you an idea. 